Turning now to your community focus, plenty of communities have had to deal with some pretty intense flash flooding lately, including East Providence. And joining us live in studio to discuss what the city is doing to fix the issue and other things happening in East Providence is Mayor Bob De Silva. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for the invite. And so once again yesterday with heavy rain came flooding in many areas, including Dewey Avenue. Now we've heard from frustrated residents who say they deal with problems like this almost every time it rains. You were in that area yesterday. What's being done by the city to fix the issue? I was out and about checking out the conditions of some of the areas we know we've had issues and problems with. What we've done so far as an administration is we hired a company to come out and inspect all the, the drains in the problem areas to look for any blockages or breaks. Uh, we also have started to install additional catch basins. So that hopefully that will help dissipate the water quicker. Um, and then we're going to look at other options, whatever is available to us to make these situations with this extreme weather, this extreme rainfall, uh, more manageable. Yeah, so some short-term solutions and then you're looking long-term as well? Absolutely, absolutely. Gotcha. I also wanted to follow up on uh, some of our previous reporting regarding upgrades to the police station, which has been in need of repairs. The yes. city council um, approved funding to replace the roof and fix other parts of the facility. Where does all of that stand? We've contracted with a roof uh, company that's going to replace the roof. We've hired an architect to look at the existing space and how to better use that space. We spent you know, a significant amount of money upgrading our communication center. We moved them from the uh, police department building to another location, which opens up additional space for our police uh, department employees and also for the community. And the city is also continuing to develop plans for a new uh, multi-million dollar community center. Just today you announced you've selected a project manager uh, for that project. Bring us up to speed with uh, the latest on that. Yeah, we selected the Peregrine, Peregrine Group uh, locally, located here in East Providence. They've done great work with the school, uh, the, the brand new high school. They're working with us on the Martin Middle School. But the project's moving along. Uh, it's very important to our community to build this. It's something that's going to serve our elder population, our students. It's going to help support the Learn360 program that the governor is supporting and we've signed on to so we're very excited about that and do you have a, a rough estimate of when this could be open well we're hoping we're hoping to get things really hot and heavy started now that we have the uh, project manager on board to really get the process moving quickly I know they did a great job with the high school within two years they had that built uh, so we, we need to expend the ARPA funds that we have allocated towards this project by 2024 so it, it's an aggressive timeline and you mentioned the Learn 365 RI, something that East Providence had signed on to. Uh, have you gotten any additional guidance from the governor about, you know, exactly what this entails and what the rollout is going to look like? So we, we were one of the first communities that signed on, by the way, on my uh, new cable show, uh, The Pulse of East Providence with Mayor Bob De Silva. And we were, uh, we applied and submitted an application for a grant. Uh, that just closed out a couple of weeks ago. So we're waiting to see what's going to happen next with the awarding of the grants. We hope that we get the max, which is a $400,000 grant that would help support programs to enhance our student population's learning. And uh, before we let you go here, we have about 30 seconds left or so. I wanted to ask you about the concert venue that uh, is being developed and built by Live Nation. Any updates that you can share on that? I spoke to one of the people, one of the principals today. Uh, they hope to have permits in place by later this fall. Uh, they've started the remediation effort already, so Sage Environmental has been working with them to get this uh, project up and running. It's a multi-step project, and we hope to see that thing up and running for our community. Plenty of projects in East Providence. Super excited. Mayor Bob De Silva, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Kayla.